Let's make your kid a millionaire. Imagine if your parents did it with you. Don't just open a savings account for your kid and leave that money there. It doesn't make any interest. I'm Jeff Jr. and today I'm gonna to tell you the money moves that will assist your child or grandchild on their path to making millions. And make sure to share this with your kids or grandkids as they raise families on their own. The first thing I need you to do is to open a custodial Roth IRA, not a savings account or double E bonds. I remember my parents bought me double E bonds. Great intentions, horrible interest. Ha. If they would have invested that, the difference it could have made in my life. Now, with a Roth IRA, your child can contribute up to the amount they earn from employment with a cap of $6,000 every year. You can even employ them if you want. However, the beauty of opening a custodial Roth IRA for your minor children is that you can contribute cash for the child, so long as you are matching the money that they actually make. Now, this can be anything from lifeguarding to working in the food service industry, or even more entrepreneurial. They can even babysit or even walk some dogs. Just keep a record of the receipt of work done if that's the case. Now, imagine you match the money your child makes and you put it into this Roth IRA for them. This money will grow exponentially into their retirement, untouchable until age 59 and a half. But say your child wants money earlier. No early withdrawal penalty will be incurred if the money is being used to pay for educational expenses or a down payment on a home of up to $10,000. By opening a Roth IRA for your child, you give them a head start on their retirement savings for life. It also teaches them important financial lessons about working for and saving their money at a young age, something that's just not taught in schools these days. Now, let me give you an example. If your child starts saving $100 a month at age 10, and they earn 7% interest by the time they're age 60, they will have almost $550,000 in their account. Not too bad. Not to mention the good habits that they develop along that journey. Now, another option, if they don't have earned income, is to simply open up an UGMA, U-G-M-A. It stands for Uniform Gift to Minors Act. This is an after-tax account that you can gift on their behalf and they can contribute to it as well. You as the parent or grandparent can be the trustee until the child reaches the age of majority, which is generally 18, depending on your state. Then they take control of the money. If you and the child can afford $100 per month in this account and $100 a month into the previously mentioned Roth, your child or grandchild could easily be a millionaire by the time they're 60. Here's the next tip. Use a 529 college plan to save for your child's education. A 529 plan is a tax advantaged investment plan that allows families to save for a beneficiary's future college costs. This helps reduce your child's potential debt in the future. Plus, it can save you some tax money too. The earnings in this account are free from federal taxes and many states will let you deduct contributions from your state income tax as long as the withdrawals are being made for educational expenses. Now, it's essential to look into the plan that you choose, however. The tax deductions and overhead fees vary with every state plan, but you can select another state's plan if you like, and you don't even have to be a resident of the state. One thing to keep in mind, however, is if you give more than $15,000 in a year, you will exceed the annual gift tax exclusion, meaning some extra work for you come tax season. However, if you have the money, you can invest five years worth of gift limits at once, jump-starting the kid's financial future with a whopping 75 grand saved. This is known as super funding. Now, whatever the amounts, the key is to start early so the money has more time to grow and continuously add money to the account because obviously the greater it grows. Finally, teach your kids about money. It's lacking in school these days. Many people see money as taboo. But financial literacy is one of the most important gifts that you can give to your kids. There are easy ways to teach children while doing everyday activities. You can talk about the value of money, prices, and limits while running errands, how you work for a salary to buy things, or teach them about budgeting through an allowance. Even when you go to a restaurant for the tip, teach them percentages. You can also introduce them to investing with online websites and apps for kids that trade fractional stocks. Now, don't worry here. Transactions are typically under a dollar and they do need to be approved by a parent. 
These small steps will help set your child up for a successful financial future. And who knows, they could be multi-millionaires. It can be very difficult to teach kids about striving for long-term goals. I understand, I've got a couple of my own. The word millionaire can seem unattainable. Don't let that stop you though. They can get into the habit of contributing even a little every month. It just takes time and a little bit of practice. Then years from now, they will appreciate the effects of compound interest and that you set them up for a successful financial future. There are many benefits of being a kid and some of us try to stay kids longer than we should. But the biggest benefit they have is time. Help them make the best use of it. Think of it this way. Assuming you earn the same interest, would you rather save $100 a month for 50 years or $1,000 a month when you can afford it for 20 years? You guessed it, you'd rather save $100 a month for 50 years. So until next time, take care and get those kids investing.